I'm very excited to share with you the new Viscom 1.1 updates. There are pretty cool features and let's dive into it. Right at the beginning when I hit the new file, we have a fresh interface as well. I can change the file name here and I can start in the studio or in the workbench because they really have different characters like developing your designs in studio and in workbench. So it's pretty cool to have this selection now. I'm gonna keep the name untitled and I will go start in studio. So here we can pick landscape portrait square or upload an image. I'm gonna upload my sketch. Here we go. It's a relatively clean sketch like compared to a very rough doodle. As you see I put some rims here and it's still like not everything is single line and super clean but it's also not super dirty sketch. I think it's important for getting better results with Viscom. While I'm talking I don't know if you realize but here we already have a prompt now. So there is an auto prompting auto describe feature now and it's pretty cool. Sleek white sports car with black wheels, low profile tires, aerodynamic curves and dark tinted windows viewed from the side. So you can of course modify it or on the way while you develop your design further if you change the color of something or if you change any surface you can also describe here again or you can click on describe to refresh your auto description as well. And if you realize here on the palette under the style on the palette we have now V2. Viscom General V2 is the default and let's see what it will give to us. Here I have my four results because I was able to activate the four images regeneration. It's because I have the pro account and if you are new to this channel, if you are new to Viscom, you can go try it for free at viscom.ai. I'm a brand ambassador for Viscom. I'm part of the product development. So I would highly recommend to go to viscom.ai to try for free if you are new to it. So out of these four results, I kind of like this one. So I'm going to add it to my canvas. And before developing this sketch further, I want to show you also some other new things about the palettes. For example, we have the Technicolor V2 as well and also Exterior V2. Let's try Exterior V2 too. Exterior V2 too. Drawing influence, I'm going to keep it around 85% to have a difference now. And hit Generate. Here we go. These are the results. And they're all... Wow, this is pretty interesting. I wasn't expecting those colors. These are also some nice result. I'm not sure which one to pick though. I quite like this one and this one. So I added them to my layers and I will for now go back to the first result to develop it further because on my original sketch I had here the glass area. The graphic here was totally different. Let's go back to sketch. This was the sketch and this is the generation. So I want to bring back the original idea from my sketch and it is a great point to mention the new brush settings because now under the brush as you can see you can change the size opacity, stabilizer and the hardness all at once. But also if your tablet, graphic tablet is not available at that moment, no problem because also there are new selection features. Before it was the lasso selection but now we have bright selection, bezier selection and auto selection. I will go to bezier selection, it's more or less like the pen tool from Photoshop. So I will just draw a path here let's say, a little bit bigger than the perfect borders here is because I want to draw here now. So I will get the brush, a bit bigger size, something like that, a bit maybe lower opacity and lower hardness. I'll go to paint picker, get a color from here and start painting. And down here now I can say deselect, zoom out and as you see we quickly painted this area. So now it's closer to the original sketch. Let's refine this sketch further. I, we can also re-render it for like different colors or different alternatives if you want to generate. But if I was to develop this one further I would go to refine and on Viscom General 2, I would decrease around 45-50%. Of course, you can experiment with different values here, but I find it quite useful. Like, I like the balance around 50% on the refine with Viscom General V2. It's also important because each style, each palette can give you different results. So as you see, it sticks to the original design, but also it cleans a bit more. I think I quite like... I think this one is my favorite. So I'm gonna edit to my layers. I want to clean a little bit further. For example, this black line here is kind of unnecessary and also on the front here, this one is unnecessary. So I will go to top. I will create a new layer. I'm going to repeat the similar process. I will just pick a color from here. I will get my brush smaller and I will just paint over this artifacts. Here we go. Let's repeat the same here. I'm going to pick the color from this area. And now I'm just going to refine one more time. Maybe this time let's go to 60% and hit generate. And out of these results, I think I will go with the third one. So I don't know how many minutes it took, but 
look what we have again compared to the original sketch to a nice render it's not even like sketch style it's a nice render only in a couple of minutes pretty cool so let's go to the next step which is the another feature i'm very excited to show you i showed you before on the short youtube videos or instagram reels which is the 3d detailed model generation so basically i go here convert 2d to 3d and here we have generate 3d details so i'm gonna click on this it works the best on the side view let's wait a little bit to see the result here we go we have the result the 3d detailed is basically the developed version of the standard and let's see how it looks i will just scale it up first let's check it from the side view to see how much it matches it's it's so magical to me like you see the sketch here and then you can just rotate it now what i really like is it's very good at reading the volumes like if you see from a little bit top like from this angle i can see how the rear fenders are sticking out of the body and you can see from different angles like the shoulder of the car and it gives really nice 3d sense you can also export this file and put it on the blender the topology is as you can see if you zoom in not perfect at the moment you cannot like take it and get amazing renders directly in blender or any other 3d software but it's amazing starting point like rather than starting from zero you can use this as a reference and model over it or without getting out of viscom you can for example put a different angle let's put it something like that and on the bottom layer i'm going to create a new one i'll go to brush paint bucket and with the white i'll just make a white background and look at my prompt slick white sports car viewed from the side i will just remove this viewed from the side go to render 800 percent and generate so here i have the four results let's see which one is the best i think number one is pretty cool again here i would change with the brush to get a better result but first i want to do also the rear view so i will hide this layer go to my 3d layer again it is still the layer by the way it's not like writing over it so it's another layer you can always go back and rotate different angles or you can even duplicate and have the two different views at the same time so let's say i'm gonna pick this time something like that you can also create a new layer on top and brush over the design to indicate the changes you want to do for now let's go to render and hit generate here are the results i think i quite liked uh, i'm focusing on the rear at the moment i didn't even sketch anything on the rear so it's just giving me starting point in my opinion it's not like a final or it's not like you just click on some buttons and you got the final design that's what i love about viscom actually it's a process and it's giving us more and more features to have more control and more creativity so here for example i like this one i'm gonna add it as a new layer and now i can draw over and refine it further let me show you a couple more features let's go back to our side view here another thing we can do now is changing the influence of the palette itself for example if it's my original sketch i can go to exterior v2 and i can change the influence of the palette here for example let's go to quite low let's say 20 percent or even 15 percent of palette influence and let's hit generate so it will not give 100 percent of the palette palette influence it will be more close to our sketch as you see it's more like a sketch size like on photoshop you wouldn't jump into the final render immediately while designing we, we go step by step i personally would go first to understand the volumes like this very rough and then i would develop it further step by step to see another example we can increase it a bit more maybe like let's say 25 percent and it's quite similar to previous one but a bit more refined maybe so now i can take this i can sketch over or i can go to photoshop to refine some volumes further then come back to viscom render over it again or refine it further so that's what i mean by it's a process and i really like it another thing if you go back to this side view for example now i want to change the style the colors and the background and everything rather than playing with the prompt or selecting some areas I can simply first let's go back to viscom general v2 and then on the image I can upload the reference image I'm gonna pick something that I generated in mid journey and now look what we have we have palette influence like I can say 100% viscom general we have reference image I wanted to keep it a bit low like 40% and drawing influence let's say 95 I want it to be like almost 100% as it is four different generations a tricky thing here if I had here like a, on the prompt red car 
and on the reference image if i had blue car basically i would be saying like do it red but do it also blue do it this and that so it would be confusing so it might be a bit tricky but in the current setup we have the white sports car kind of white type of reference image here and i will just hit generate and hopefully it will give me some different type of feeling on the image itself here we go first of all the car gets way more realistic if you go to details it now looks like a photo right and about the details it got i see these yellow lines are coming from the reference image and more or less like the blue sky and the feeling of the image was pretty nice let's see the other alternatives number two number three oh it's also nice like i like that the light is coming from the other side so the car is actually on the shadow side but it it adds nice this dramatic effect and number four is also pretty cool i would prefer this air outlet area more dark like a black piece or even mesh maybe so these are our alternatives i'm gonna add this one for now let's try another one let's say you don't want to use another existing photo or mid journey or anything you want to generate your own reference in viscom can you do that now you can do that let's go to workbench on the previous version here it was just an x button and it was a little bit confusing so i'm glad that they changed it to workbench so i can just click there and i'm out here on the workbench so i'm gonna insert i will go to sketch so i'm gonna create a new one here double click landscape and create let's say I want a metallic red sports car in front of dark building entrance. Let's see what will happen. Oh, let's say also side view, side view. I will drag the drawing influence to zero because there is nothing drawn, drawn anyway. So I will hit image four and hit generate. So here the design doesn't matter. It will just generate a random sports car, I guess. But the point is I want to get a feeling of red car in front of dark area like that. The car is quite interesting though. Let's see the alternatives. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, that's nice about the feeling. I think I will use one of these. Maybe I will take this one. I will say add exit generation preview. I will get the transform and I will just scale it up a little bit because on my original one, the car has the bigger percentage of the canvas. So I will just put it like that. image here was not updated immediately so i went to inside and get out to workbench again if you face this kind of not even bugs but this kind of interface things please go to this question mark and send feedback because viscom team takes it very serious all type of feedbacks so i go back to workbench what we can do now is i'm gonna right click on this image and add as reference image in 2d studio so now any image in the 2d studio in this file I can basically double click and under the reference images here now I have here the image we generated isn't this pretty cool so I'm gonna decrease this strength here and I will change on my prompt rather than sleek white sports car I will say sleek red sports car with black wheels low profile tires aerodynamic curves dark tinted windows dark background let's hit generate so now hopefully the goal is to get the car red with the dark background here we go number one number two three and four i like the number one the side like this air outlet area the most and i like that graphic is still more or less what we wanted it got a little bit of red inside but we can clean this up and on the number two i like the front of the car so i can add this and i can also add number one let's switch them actually i want number two to be on top and I will get the eraser, very big, lower opacity, and the soft one to clean this area. Here we go. And about the air outlet, I'm going to clean this area a little bit. For the rear of the car, okay, this one is quite cool. I'm going to also erase a little bit on this top. Here we go. I like the previous wheels more. So now we can test the auto selection function, actually. So let's go here. And this is a new feature as well. The auto selection it will take a little bit of time to analyze the image but then as you see you can select different parts of the car or the whole car the body as you see when you move the cursor you have different selections i think it is pretty cool addition as well so i'm gonna pick this front wheel and hold shift to pick also the rear wheel now i can go get my eraser on this layer let's get a bigger one full opacity and totally hard and i erase them these ones are actually uglier because it's also the generation from the red one so i'm gonna erase them as well 
and I got my original black ones. So now I'm gonna go to deselect, zoom out a little bit to see how it looks. Started to look pretty cool. What I want now is also to clean this area again. Let's see if auto selection gives me option to select this or if not we will use the Bezier selection anyway. And the auto selection, yeah I can pick this one, cool. I'm gonna hold shift and pick this one as well. And maybe this area too, okay it's pretty nice. It's not bad at all. Now I can go to for example brush selection and hold shift and also I can select the additional areas. It's like the brush itself, I can reduce the size, hold shift here and use the brush selection. So what I want now is creating a new layer on top, get the brush, maybe a bit lower opacity this time, big brush, bigger brush, pick a color something like this one here and I will just paint it and deselect. I can also make this layer probably multiply. Let's see how it looks. Okay, multiply is a little bit too much. Maybe lower opacity. But it still has this redness, so I wanted to get the normal result with the full opacity. And here we go. Now I will go back to refine, go back to around 50% and generate one more time. Here we go, look at this. I told you at the beginning that there are very cool features that I want to share with you, so I hope you are agreeing with me now. Some of them changed this air outlet area, so I think I will focus on this area. Maybe this one looks the best and I'm gonna edit. Here we go. This is pretty cool and we have endless possibilities now. You can change basically, as I said, on the render. The slider of palette, slider of reference image and the drawing influence, like just by sliding this tree you can get many different results from your sketch and of course with different styles as well. I want to show you a couple more workbench features but let me do it on another file. By the way let me show you this example quickly. This was the original sketch, this was from exterior v2, general v2, couple of different options. This one was more futuristic version I think, it's, it looks pretty cool, pretty fresh design. And just with a couple of layers I quite like that one, I generated a 3D, here we go, I put it from two different angles, I made the background white, I rendered them and I moved them around to make a composition with the side view and the front and the rear all together, something like that, then I refined it a bit further and look at this. It is super fast to like, I mean I made a video about this before as well, even before the detailed 3D with the regular 3D, but it's still mind-blowing, look at this, I had a side view sketch and now I can see it from different angles quite close to my original sketch and I can develop the design further. Another example here and actually now I want to show you the workbench features because on this file I tried many different color combinations and many different design details for this original sketch and I don't want to go through for example layer by layer to see them. So what I can do now, I can go to workbench, by the way this was the reference generation so I will just put it aside and you can see how close them, how close the render to the reference image. Anyway, I will click on this image, right click, copy all layers to workbench. So if you want to see all your layers all together, which I generally like to do, you can now see them all together. Automatically it puts them on a nice grid and you can see all the different possibilities you did. So this was my starting sketch and this was the next generation. I did the yellow one, then the red one, and here are some different colors and some different design features. And there's a cool addition now, it's a very small feature but it's quite useful. They now can snap to the grid. As you see now, I picked this image and when I get closer I can just use the guidelines and snap to the grid to basically align with different images around. I, I find it quite useful. Let's see a couple more sketches, a couple more designs that I did with Viscom. This is another file started from a very simple sketch again and I generated tons of different variations and I put them all together on workbench. It makes me be way more organized and like when you zoom out maybe they look all alike because they're the same sketch at the end but when you zoom, zoom in you can see the different details, different design features, different surfaces and you can pick the ones you like, you can combine them, it's like whole another level for your design process. Actually on this file I used another feature as well about rendering different styles but it's coming soon and I think I'm not authorized to talk about it so stay tuned for more cool features. This one is done with the reference image that I generated from Midjourney. I can just get into this file, let's see what I had. Original sketch, some different generations and using the reference image. This was the reference image. And I quite like how this ended up. Okay, the last example I want to show you in this video is that sketch. I was kind of pushing a little bit 
thinking like not traditional car designer i was thinking what if like i go with a bit exaggerated style here let's say a bit more concept art or like a car for the movie i would say rather than like a production car but i quite like it i created also some art alternatives of course like here how it would be also in the blue color but again rather than going one by one with the layers i can go to workbench right click copy all layers to workbench and you can see also the generated 3d is here some exterior style some Viscom general with the reference image I can see that and this one is also pretty cool actually I guess you are hyped as well you are excited to try it yourself you can do it at viscom.ai for free you can test it but if you are new if you are new to AI in general don't be afraid maybe it looked complicated because it's not like a beginner tutorial that I'm showing step by step what to do which anyway is pretty easy actually but if you are struggling you can go to bearkaplan.com and learn from my AI for car design course as well. If you are new to channel, subscribe for more car design content and see you in the next video.